Hi Scorpio, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm doing a March 2018 bump. So, and I'm using the playing cards this month, um, or I mean for the bump. And um, it's something different and I've been using them for a very long time as well. So, um, I wanted to say thank you for your comments. I really, really like them and love reading them and, and just chatting with people. And thank you for all your likes, shares, and subscribes. Blah, blah, blah. I really appreciate it. And I'm still working on my website. <laughs> like I said, I'm not very tech savvy, so I'm having a little bit of difficulties figuring it out but we'll get there you know we'll get there and uh, I have I'm going to post um, a short video on YouTube about some of the um, templates I have for everyone to use anyway let's get on with your reading so I've got this uh, brand new deck of playing cards Scorpio 2000 March 15th to the 31st, March 15th to the 31st, 2018, Scorpio. What are the messages for Scorpio in this mid-month? Spring is in the air, Scorpio. It's in the air, Scorpio. March, mid-March, 2000. Okay, they're ready. card at the bottom of the deck is the seven of clubs so we're going to put that in the middle as your kind of foundation and the seven of clubs is about worry um you're worried about everything right now um so and i think it's about concerning work to tell you the truth it's in your uh work area there's Maybe it's unstable. Maybe there's a chance of layoff or something like that. So anyway, so that's in your underlying energy. Okay, so we have the Six of Clubs, the Jack of Diamonds, and the Ten of Hearts. Okay, this is a very... Um, uh, anyway, so... The Six of Clubs is about taking steps, and you're going to get a, um, a message about love. The Jack of Diamonds is um, like the postman, okay? So this is an email, a phone call, a letter, um, maybe a text, um, a love text. There's some sort of offer here, you know, and it's it's you got that six of clubs you know and the six of clubs is about taking steps in your work area you know so this offer i think you're going to get an offer at work i think you're going to get an offer at work and you are so happy it's what you really wanted it's um it's something that's going to be bring you happiness and contentment and you're quite pleased. This is this is the thing you were looking for. The so you're taking steps. You you've taken steps, and now you're being offered a position that you love, you really want. So that looks fantastic. That's in your present energy. This is a bit of a different layout. Maybe I'll put the camera down so you can see it. See the layout here. So this is your present energy. This is coming in. This is above you, you know, what's on your mind. 
Um, this is usually your work uh, energy, creative energy here. Influences the foundation and the surprise. So we'll get around to all of them, but I just wanted you to see this layout. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. So just coming into your life. So you have the Eight of Diamonds, the Eight of Diamonds, the Three of Hearts, and the Jack of Spades. Can you see that? There we go. So the Eights are very social cards um, in the playing cards. So there, it means communication. So there's some sort of communication about money. It's a financial um, talk. And um, this is going to, threes are, um, threes are like the celebration card. And this is a celebration card, but there's something, there's some kind of trouble with it. Like, I don't think it's going to be much trouble. There's some sort of nag around it, you know. Um, that's where I really get the feeling like a nag. I don't know why that came out, but it did. There's a nag around this. So these talks are really good and successful. But there's some sort of nag um, around the situation. There's someone that is trying to stir up some sort of trouble with it, but I don't think it's going to be much because your red outweighs your black in that situation. So, hmm. And um, uh, above you are, is the, maybe if I turned it this way. No, that's terrible too. Okay, so you have the four of spades, the four of diamonds, and the jack of clubs. Now, both of the fours are decisions. You have a decision. You're at a crossroads. Think of it as a crossroads. And you have to decide which way you're going to go now. So one is going to lead to trouble. And the other um, is if you're going to go toward uh, investments. Um, you're... you're See, I think you're having some sort of financial troubles right now, and a friend is going to help you out. They're going to, I think they're going, uh, someone's helping you out in a financial direction you're involved in right now. Like right now, your finances, the direction you're going isn't bringing you any, um, money but they're going to help direct you a friend is going to tell you suggest a way to go there could be trouble along the way but um this person means well they are a friend they are trying to help this jack of clubs it could be a younger person too that tells you or shows you somehow they're showing you the right way an opportunity is they're presenting a direction okay um but there is that four of spades there so it's saying it could lead to trouble so just be leery all right oh uh in your um work creative atmosphere there is loss. Um, I, I really wonder if someone has passed away um, because there are so many spades together. So five is loss. Ace is the death of something. And seven is tears. So you have lost something um, in your work or creative environment. And... I think it's been quite a blow. It's brought you to tears. You're very, very sad, very... It's a real loss for you. A real loss. Devastating, in fact. 
I'm very sorry to hear that. It, um, so, you know, cry those tears, get them out. Um, and it's okay to feel sad sometimes. We don't always have to be happy and cheerful and positive. You know, it's okay to feel sad and just sit with it and feel it, okay? Um, in your influences, you have another four. Another four. Um, so a four of clubs, five of clubs, oops, and a three of clubs. So it's kind of like one step forward and two steps back here, okay? And this is how other people are seeing you or influencing you. And like I said, it's and, and they're seeing this in your career, work life um, uh, aspect of your life. And they see you taking one step forward and two steps back. So you're not, they don't see you really getting anywhere. So it's like you try something and it's not for you, you know. And then you're back to looking again and you try something and it's not for you. So they're, they're not seeing you... Um, move forward um, fast enough for their liking. Anyway, it's not negative energy. Clubs aren't negative energy. They just are. You know, they just are. And in your foundation is the Jack of Hearts, the Queen of Clubs, and the Ace of Spades. So the Jack of Hearts is Cupid. There's love for this Queen of Clubs, and that's a want. That's a a, a fire sign, um, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. And um, but you're gonna have words. You two are okay. Um, and you're both the type to really speak your mind, you know, so I can imagine what this talk is going to be. And it probably already happened is what I'm going to say. This probably already happened. So you're really fond of this woman, this wand energy. But you're going to have words because, you know, <laughs> neither one likes to be told what to do or how to do it. Um, they're very passionate, both very passionate in their energy. Scorpio, you're very passionate in your water. And although you really like um, this wand energy, you clash at times because um, they are very fiery and passionate. Um, so there's going to be words here. It doesn't mean there's a breakup or anything, but words are going to be said. So, in your surprise pile, oh, it's so nice, oh my god. So, the nine of diamonds, the ace of hearts, and the three of diamonds. So, the nine of diamonds is a trip usually over water. Um, it's also a financial change, like financial ex um, uh, advancement. And... Um, and success, really. And then there's the Ace of Heart and the Three of Diamonds. So that I think there's an engagement. There could this could be a honeymoon. Like this is the surprise. Sometimes you do not see this coming. So you're, you know, listening to me and you're thinking, eh, no way, that ain't happening. Usually the surprise pile is a surprise. So this is a celebration of love and um, you're going to go away together, whether it's to the next town and rent a, you know, a hotel room, motel room. I'm thinking motel, like I'm thinking ground level or something, wherever you're going. Um, I, I don't know where it is, but you're, you're going somewhere together and it's, it's, and it may not be 
an official engagement, but it is definitely official. We are a couple. We are celebrating that we know now we are in love. We are in love. <laughs> oh, my God. I just got to rush through me like uh, a charge right through me with this. Okay. So uh, this is so nice. Um, now, I just want to take a bit of an overview here. So the cool thing is about this whole thing is with your ace of spades. Now, I know that is showing a loss in your life, but it's also showing a door closing. You are closing a door and it hurts, okay? But this ace of hearts over here and your surprise is a door opening and you are celebrating and so happy. It's going to bring you um, emotional wealth, if not financial wealth as well, but emotional wealth at the very least. Um... I... I uh, see some communication, um, and and both times it it's through a younger person. One is a young air sign, um, and the other is a water sign. Oh wait, you have all you have all all, all four jacks here. Uh, so there's a lot of young people in your life and a lot of communication happening. Um, they are young people and messengers. Um, so you have every jack, the, the heart, the diamond, the spade, and the club. And so that means young people from every suit, from of every sign, you know, in your life, around you around you coming up in your near um <laughs> you know i see this as maybe a four month like four months for this to completely play out there's a lot of four energy here and fours are very powerful too um four is a very powerful number so you know, think before you take the step is one of the the messages of the four. And I think there might be, it, it might be a four or maybe 12 weeks. 12 weeks is the other time period I'm seeing here. Um, and there is just a little bit of loss. Um, well, I, I shouldn't say a little bit because all loss is great. I mean, as far as in general of all of the cards, you got two fives and they represent loss in some way or disappointment. Um, it's kind of a step back. So one is loss with with the, um, the ace of spades and the other is like a step back. You know, a, a step back, step forward, step back. Um, but in general, that is an excellent reading. You know, there's a couple of struggles, a couple of challenges, and a couple of pauses. You know, I think this reading is telling you to pause in some ways. But in the end, like, this is happy 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 cards it's one of the nicest combinations i have ever seen in all my years of reading playing cards i gotta tell you so congratulations scorpio i'm so happy for you um so have a great rest of your month and i'll see you in april uh again happy saint patty's day and spring equinox bye now